Thank you all for being here for this very special ceremony. Say the zero is nothing unless it connects the dots and the real story emerges. Unless it captures the truth, they say the camera never lies. They say the zero is nothing unless it is the essence of India of diversity and tolerance. Unless it reveals the wealth of nations and silences the barrel of a gun. Unless it reflects the sadness in the eye of the tiger as forests disappear. In fact, the dot is the center of your universe and of ours. The dot is the essence of NDTV. The essence of just one word, trust. President, sir, all our friends here. A couple of days ago, I asked Radhika, the founder of NDTV. I joined her after she started it. What's kept NDTV going for 25 years? Is it hard work? She looked at me a little skeptical. Technology, passion, money, what is it? She just said one word, trust, your trust. And I'm here tonight on behalf of everybody at NDTV to thank every single one of you for your trust in us. But first, a quick secret. Um, when I was first asked to speak, I said, like, you know, no, 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 not really. But guess what? I'm here. How come? Because frankly, there's one factor that's common to all journalists. We may not be the most important people in the world, but we are certainly the most self-important. <laughs> so trust. When each one of ND, us at NDTV is out in the field with dust on our face and dirt under our nails, we do it because in the end, honestly, we feel that whatever we report has your trust. When we started World This Week, 
25 years ago, the only program that reported on international news, the breakup of the Soviet Union of that time, the coming down of the Berlin Wall, or even the first McDonald's in China. We were novices, but you trusted us. When we report on elections, on who's winning and who's losing and why, we just couldn't do it without feeling your faith and your trust in us. In fact, if there's one thing that I feel proud about in the media, it's the role in elections and in our democracy. By bridging this gap between parliament and the voter, and perhaps even changing the power equation substantially. For 25 years, between 77 and 2002, we had angry voters. 70% of governments were thrown out. Good or bad, they were thrown out. The anti-incumbency uh, phase, that phrase we know so well. But it's all changed now. Over the past 10 years, in this period of media explosion, it's 50% are thrown out and 50% of governments are brought back by a more informed voter. If governments deliver, they are voted back. If they don't, they're thrown out. So trust. When we first started the first private news on Indian television, we were a bundle of nerves, believe me. A bit like me tonight, actually. You gave us strength at that time. At most difficult times in the course of NDTV's history, when we lost our dearest colleagues who started with us at NDTV, and we wondered, why continue? You kept us going. When we produced India's first 24-hour news channel, that's 15 years ago, you trusted us then too. And we value that trust still today so much. 15 years ago, there was just one 24-hour news channel. Today, there are 182 at last count. That was yesterday. I don't know today. Get ready for 500 in the next five years. Compared to 15 years ago, technology has made sure that starting a news channel is 95% cheaper today than it was. And as an aside, let me say, uh, many of you were with us in election programs in those days. With this changing media, how politicians have changed. When we used to ask a politician in those days a question, they would take three minutes to answer, to get to the point. First, they'd clear their throats, then look at themselves in the studio camera. That was a big problem. Then start with a historical perspective, and finally, three minutes later, come to the point. Now, they are sharp as anything. They make three points in 20 seconds. You can't even edit them anymore. That's how much. And also, uh, they are becoming much better looking. It's one of the advantages. Because having been on TV so much, politicians today looking better groomed, uh, so that's a good fringe benefit of openness. And now in the current fight against tabloidization, where we show, unlike others, documentaries and rural stories that India matters, you still stay with us. That means a lot. Tabloidization is a worry, but I feel there is a backlash now. We hope and pray that sponsors and advertisers will give greater weightage to content and avoid promoting tabloidization. If you look at the West, tabloidization gets much, much less support from advertisers and sponsors. In fact, I hate to report that tabloidization, in my eyes, hit an all-time low recently when an anchor of one channel said, twirling her hair, a lady, break ke baad, aapko ek rape dekhayenge. I really think enough is enough, surely. So trust, when we, when we fight campaigns for Jessica Lal, the Greenathon, 
Save the Tiger, Toilets for Girls in Schools, Marks for Sports, and the Girl Child, and many, many others. You have trusted us with crores in donations, and they've all been put to good use. Finally, looking ahead at the next five years, we believe that soft power will become as important as hardware in global conflict. A friend sitting here said to me, the US has CNN, England has BBC, the Middle East has Al Jazeera, China has CCTV with great distribution. Where is India? NDTV believes India is strongest in the world in creativity and in soft power. The time has come to launch India's version of CNN or Al Jazeera. We can be better than the rest, better than the world. And NDTV has a truly global channel in our sights. We need your faith, your support, and trust in this venture too. So, in a word, what brings a lump to our throats is simply your trust. And to cap all our emotions today, the 25 greatest Indian living legends have all come here tonight. And just by accepting our invitation, they've given us that one most valuable thing, their trust. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome India's 25 greatest global living legends. Thank you.